Hello everyone, Dave Landry here from DaveLandry.com. If you're like me, when you first got started trading, you probably found yourself doing a lot of searching. And in that searching process, you probably hit a lot of dead ends. Or even worse, you came across some promises that just seemed too good to be true. And then once you put up your hard-earned cash, you realize that they truly were too good to be true. Well, there's a reason why marketers prey on you, and that's because they know a secret to the markets that they don't want you to know. And that secret is... There is no secret. No one knows exactly what a market will do. Not you, not me, and certainly not the guy who screams on TV. Now, if you think about it, this is actually quite liberating. This means we're all playing on a level playing field. And in some cases, as you'll see in the next few videos, the small trader actually can have an advantage. Now, I'm often asked if you have to be smart to trade, and my answer to that is, no, I once received an email from someone who was literally a rocket scientist, and they said, Dave, rocket science is not rocket science. Trading is rocket science. We got to talking, and I explained to him that the reason he was having difficulties is because logic can help you get a rocket off the ground, but it doesn't often apply to trading. Markets are often illogical and always emotional. Now, if you're new to trading, that's great. We're starting with a clean slate. We won't have to work to get rid of any preconceived notions that you might have. As you'll see in the next few videos, we start from the ground up and then build and build. Bruce Lee once said, I do not fear the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. As it applies to trading, Linda Rasky once said, all you need is one pattern to be successful. And I truly believe that. Now, at some point in time, we all tend to lose our way here and there in the markets. And the best thing you can do is to avoid the siren call of complexity, adding indicators or possibly ending up on a holy grail hunt. The best thing you can do is to come back to the beginning and come back to the basics and become profitable again. So if you lost your way, come back to the basics and become profitable again. While I was putting together this course, this gentleman here, Rick Palumbo, emailed me and said, you turned my whole trading world upside down, and then you fixed it. And I asked him, I said, well, what do you mean by that, Rick? And he said, well, I was following one plan, then another. Then I was going back to the first one. I didn't have a money management plan. I was trying all these different things. And I simply wasn't focusing on the keep it simple cocktail napkin type of methodology you often talk about. So this got me thinking about the thousands of individuals that I've helped throughout the years. And I began looking at my testimonial page on my website. And I noticed that in virtually all cases, getting these people back to profitability wasn't through some major revelation, but rather getting them back to focusing on the basics. So if you lost your way, become profitable again by returning to the basics. Now, there's only three things that you'll ever need to become successful as a trader. The first and most obvious is a methodology. And I suggest keeping that simple. This was a big trade we had a while back and notice that there's no indicators whatsoever on the chart. In fact, as you'll see in the upcoming first few videos, other than the occasional moving average, I don't use any indicators whatsoever. I truly believe in keeping things simple. If you look at the logo on my website, you'll notice that I have trademarked the words trading simplified and that's a creed that I live by. Now, if you think about it, all successful trades must capture a trend. If you buy at A and sell at B, B has to be higher than A. So from A to B is a trend. Now, I realize that this is a bit of a Captain Obvious type of statement, but you'd be surprised at the amount of people who fight trends. So your attitude is going to be key. So this brings us to our next point, trading psychology. Now, one of the few things that I can guarantee with 100% certainty is at some point in time, you will face some tough times trading. This is perfectly normal. In fact, the bad news is, unfortunately, as humans, we're simply just not made to trade. This is from both a physiological standpoint and a psychological standpoint. The same things that are keeping you alive and well and having you function as a normal, successful human being can often be the same things that hinder your trading. So the battle is often from within. Again, your attitude is going to be far more important than your aptitude. Now, the third thing you'll need is money management. The reason you'll need money management is because trading is unfair. You have to make back a lot more 
than you lose. For instance, let's say you lose 50% of your account. Well, just to get back to break even, you're going to have to make 100%. So money management is crucial. So if you're searching or if you lost your way, start taking this course, Trading Full Circle. Thank you, and may the trend be with you.